What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. We got some new information concerning the Malaya Davis case and on how she died. Let's get into this topic, baby. Straight up. What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and shout out to everybody that's been donating to the channel. I really appreciate your donations, man. I tell you, you really blessed the channel. Now, let's get into this Malaya Davis case. We've got some new information. The new information is, not only did she die from homicidal murder or from a blunt force, uh, a blunt force object across her head, they're saying she also had her airways restricted, okay? So they're saying that she was either strangled, suffocated, or something else went along with her death, okay? This is the new information. Now, Darion Vince did not, he has not pled guilty to anything, okay? He's not pleading guilty. He's not saying anything. I guess his lawyer is telling him, just keep quiet. You know, let me handle, you know, the media or whatever the case may be. Let me handle the case, which I think is smart. My question is, is he covering for Brittany Bones? That's my only question in this case. Is he covering for her? And will there be any charges against her? Whereas before she went out of town, Darion was at work. When Darion came back, Malaya Davis was in the house with Malaya Davis I'm sorry, Malaya Davis was in the house with Brittany Bowens. And then Brittany Bowens calls Darion home early from work. He comes home. She leaves. Next thing you know, he's dropping the body off. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But the sad part about it is this girl was being, a, this, this, this baby girl was being abused. Even before she met Darion. This, this baby girl has been in and out of the hospital for her short four years. She's been getting abused by either her mother or someone in the family, which I know it had to be her mother because if a child is in and out of the hospital, the abuse has to come from the mother, okay? Which she lost custody. That's, 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 that's something that, that, that we need to pay attention to. Brittany Bowen lost custody of her daughter. Lost custody, but then got the kids back. I don't know why uh, uh, family services do that. I don't know why CPS keeps giving the kids back to abusive mothers or abusive families or putting the kid back in an abusive environment. I don't understand it. But that's where CPS makes their biggest mistakes, always having sympathy for a mother who is a bad mother. You know, it's sad. All mothers are not good mothers. And if she's a bad mother, she don't need to have custody of a child. Okay, if a kid is in and out of the hospital from severe head trauma and getting beat up and bloody all the time and they always got to get checked out and always got to get surgery. That mother should lose all rights and all custody of the child, period. Okay, that's what I don't understand. Now, they're saying that she was knocked upside the head and suffocated. They said that she, her airways were restricted with an unknown object. I don't know what, what unknown object, I don't know if, it, if she got, if they're saying she was strangled by a cord a rope, uh, I don't know, a uh, 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 shoestring, laces, I don't know. She had to be strangled or suffocated in some kind of way for her airways to be restricted. This is just sad, man. I'm your boy Zillionaire. I'll keep you updated on this case, man. I just wanted to do a quick video about this, man. It's sad. This, this, this baby girl only spent four years into this evil, cruel world and was abused the entire time she was here. Now she's in a place where she don't have to worry about pain, suffering, bad mothers, or bad boyfriends, or whatever the case may be. She don't have to worry about being abused, mistreated, all kind of stuff. She's in a better place. She's in the hands of God Almighty. And who's ever responsible for this? Whether it's Brittany Bones, whether it's Darion, whether it's both of them together, because I believe they both played their part in this. Not only are they going to have to answer to the court system, they still have to answer to God Almighty. 
I'm out of here. Let me know what you think about this new information that they're saying she just wasn't hit upside. She didn't just die from getting hit in the head. She also died from being suffocated or smothered. Her airways were restricted. So somebody squeezed the life out of this little girl. Just sad, man. This is an evil, cruel, wicked world we live in, man. I'm out of here.